Hello everyone, today we're going to go through um, if you're trying to update to Windows 11 and you're getting the error that's showing on the screen there, the Windows cannot be installed because the PC has an unsupported disk layout for UEFI firmware. So this is where your hard drive will be formatted to master boot record MBR instead of GPT and Windows 11 will not allow you to install it without this being changed. Previously, you would have had to reinstall Windows 10 with the correct boot record, but now Windows have included a um, program within an update to do this without having to remove all of your file system and reinstall. So to see if you've, obviously you'll get this error, but if you do want to see or check before you do this to see if um, you your hard drive is MBR and not GBT. If you right click on your start menu, press disk management, you will get this box here. So if you click down there on the actual disk bit, press properties, press volume, it will show your master boot record. That needs to be GPT or you will not be able to install Windows 11. So this is from the Windows update, this error. It won't get any further than about 8% download, then it throws this error. So we know that the boot record is MBR. So what we need to do now is, um, next is check that you have the application already downloaded. So if you go into your drive and then your Windows System32 folder, you should have this application here, MBR to GPT. If you don't have that, I'll leave a couple of links down in the description to go to the Microsoft website that'll show you how to get it. So from here, you need to go into command prompt, which you can do by going in here and pressing CMD. For some reason, mine always opens in C users. Um, what you need to do is open it in the actual Windows folder. So you can hold shift, right click, and you can open it in um, the Windows PowerShell, which is basically a newer version of Command Prompt. So from here, what you want to do is, I'll leave these in the description as well, is type these two commands. So you can copy and paste them if you want. So it's MBR to GBT, forward slash validate, forward slash disk. And then you want the number of your disk. So for me, it is disk one that is my main disk. So that's why you need to go on disk manager up here. And obviously my C drive is disk one. If I was trying to do it to this, it would be disk zero. I need to do it for my main it should always be your main boot drive. And in my case, it is disk one. So you just write it in, press enter. And um, as you can see, it's validated. Validation was successful. So then from here, it's allowing us, and it's validated that this drive is available to convert. You then put MBR. Um, the next command is MBR to GPT slash convert slash disk one. So I want to do disk one. Space allow full OS enter. And then it's obviously attempting, retrieving the disk, validating the layout trying to shrink the OS partition. And it'll take a minute to complete, I believe. So installing the new boot files, there we go, performing the layout conversion. Um, so there it's completed successfully, it took about 30 seconds. So now what it's saying is MBR to GPT before the system can boot properly, you need to switch your firmware to UFI mode. So this is where you'll need to boot into your BIOS after you restart your computer and change to UEFI BIOS mode if you already haven't. 
So to do that, you restart, and when restarting, it's generally you click delete repeatedly, and it'll bring up your BIOS. You go into your boot settings and change your boot mode to UEFI. I'll put a picture of that up um, in the video to show you what it looks like, because I can't record that um while I'm do while I'm obviously doing this because um I record my BIOS without a second camera. So what we will do now is um I think I'm already in UFI mode. So what I'm gonna do is now after that clip is I'm gonna go into Windows Update. Actually what we'll do is we'll check the disk partition first. Disk management. We'll go back to disk one. Right click properties and volumes. And now you can see it's changed to GUID partition table, GPT. So now I might need to do a restart, but we'll see what it says. We'll go and check for updates. Windows update, as you can see, we had an issue previously. So now we'll click fix issues and we'll see if it's going to get stuck again before 10%. Um, right, so there you can see now it took a couple of minutes of fast forward it, but you can see it's gone past the 8% mark and it's saying it's almost ready. It just needs to do a few things before it can continue to install. So yeah. That is how you update from MBR to GPT easily and quickly without destroying any of your data. So if you need any further help or just like the video, leave it in the comments and um, I'll see you on the next one.